Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if this is your first video, then welcome. Today I'm going to be recreating a look done by Rafaela Emue. Uh, it was posted to her Instagram, although she has recently started doing YouTube tutorials again. So I'll pop her link below for you guys to check her out. She's an amazing artist. I love everything that she does. This look I actually saw when she posted it last October. And I'd been wanting to do it for such a long time, but it wasn't up until now that I actually had the confidence to attempt to do this look. So I'm really glad that I did because I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. And hopefully you guys enjoy watching this video. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. So I've done my face makeup and I've applied concealer to my eyelids which I've also set using translucent powder um, just to get a nice even base. Now the first step that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a white liquid eyeliner and I'm taking this one by Makeup Forever, it's the Aqua XL and it's just the white shade. And I'm first going to be drawing a line from my outer corner of my eye up towards the end of my eyebrow. Okay, so we've got that line down. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what I've done here, and that is to draw on basically where you would carve out your crease um, and join it up to the edge here at the you know, the point that I've created. And I'm also going to uh, make this line quite thick, uh, but making sure that I leave enough space on the lid to do our intricate designs. Okay, so we've got the outline of the look done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to take my concealer. So I'm using Tarte Shape Tape and this is in Fair Neutral. And I'm popping it on this small detail brush and I'm just gonna use that to tidy up the edges so that it's nice, clean line. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding in the little lace details along the top of the cut crease here. So I'm going to start off by just drawing uh, semicircles all the way along up until the corner and then little lines coming out of each semicircle. Alright, now it's time to start drawing on the spider web. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking that same white liner and I'm going to first start off with the bits of web that go up like that and then I'm going to be joining them together with some curved lines to finish it all off. Now that we have the spiderweb on the eye, I'm just going to take my concealer and that same small brush and just use that to tidy up the edges. If I've got any white smudges, I'll cover those just so I can get it to look as sharp and clean as possible. Okay. 
Okay, now before I draw on the little spider, I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. So I'm going to be taking my Lime Crime Venus Immortalis palette and I'm going to start with this shade here which is called Unveil and then I'm going to go over it and blend it out using this shade here called Camo. And I'm going to be using just a couple of small pencil brushes. Okay, I'm also going to be adding in highlights. The highlighter that I'm going to be using, it's a new one, well, new to me, is the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Transformer. I'm going to be applying this to all of my usual highlighting spots. Alright, now I'm going to be drawing on the little spider detail, so I'm just going to draw its string coming down and its legs and then I'm going to be sticking on some little fake pearls to be its body and its head. Okay, now it's time to stick on the little pearls. So I'm just using these fake pearls that I got from Spotlight and I'm going to be sticking them on using lash glue and some tweezers. So let's see how we go. This could prove quite difficult. <laughs> Alright, so that is the look pretty much complete. Now I'm just going to apply a black liner in my waterline, some mascara and some fake eyelashes. The lashes that I'm going to be using are my EXO Beauty Foam Ink Lashes and these are in the style Thunder. And I'm just going to go do those three things off camera and then I'll be back to show you guys the completed look. Okay, so here we have the completed look with lashes. I'm really feeling this look, you guys. I think I've done a pretty good job considering it's my first go. I actually did um, start doing it before and then I had to wipe it off because it didn't look good. So it's actually my second go, but I'm still pretty impressed with myself. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's such an awesome, delicate kind of dainty, pretty Halloween look, which I'm all about. I'm all about making anything look pretty, so I'm a big fan of this look. So shout out to Raffaella MUA for creating this in the first place so that I could recreate it. Mm -hmm. I think it's such an effective look too. It'll be perfect for if you were doing uh, dressing up as a witch for Halloween, or like you could be like a spider queen or something, I don't know. The uh, options are endless. But yeah, I had so much fun uh, recreating this look. So if you liked it, then please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And push that little bell button so that you get notified every time that I post a video. If, you, if that's what you want. If you want to be notified, then press that button. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.